Friends, imagine you are in a place where time doesn't exist. There are no clocks, no sunlight and no phones. You have no way to tell day from night. Would you stop feeling time or would your body still follow its own rhythm? This is what a French geologist Michael Sifri wanted to find out. In 1962, he did a bold experiment. He locked himself in a dark cave for two months. There was no natural light, no clocks and no way to contact the outside world. It was just him, some supplies and the silence of the cave. When Sifri came out, he was shocked. He thought he had been in the cave for one month. In reality, 60 days had passed. His sense of time had slowed down. This showed that humans have an internal clock that doesn't need sunlight or clocks to work. But Sifre wanted to learn more. In 1972, he went into another cave for six months. This time, something strange happened. His body's rhythm changed. He started living on a 48-hour cycle instead of the usual 24 hours. Even simple tasks felt stretched. It took him five minutes to count what he thought was two minutes. Sifri's experiments were revolutionary. They showed that our sense of time depends a lot on our environment. Without sunlight or daily routines, our brain loses track. His work helped scientists understand circadian rhythms the internal process that controls our sleep and wake cycles. Friends, these findings are important today. Astronauts in space face similar challenges where there is no natural day or night. In the same way, people working night shifts or irregular hours also experience time distortions. It can even affect mental health. Sifri's experiments raise a deep question. Do we control time or does time control us? Is time something real or is it just in our minds? But one thing is certain. When the usual markers of time disappear, we begin to see how fragile and strange our sense of time truly is. Thank you for watching.